Hey guys and girls, Raz here from Making Tracks. Um, today I'm going to do a uh, informative video. I've had a lot of questions about um, the mount where I have my phone and what I use for uh, tracking the rides and such, and also uh, GPS for following previously tracked rides. So we're going to head out into the shed. I'll um, give you a bit of a sneak peek at the setup that I use and the um, the apps that I use on the Android phones. Um, so let's head out to the shed and check it out. All right, people. So this is the, um, the setup that I use on my uh, bike when I'm out riding in the bush. So basically what it is is a phone armband, sports armband. So that's just um, strapped around the crash pad on here. And then the phone is um, slid into that. I've got a little hole cut in the end here that lines up with the um, charging port in there. Because uh, the other little thing that I have is a little USB point here with a dust cover. Um, so... What we have there is your USB cord can plug into that and then your USB, micro USB, come around and plug into the, into the phone in there. So that's connected through to the battery at the back here. It has its own little inline, inline fuse there which is out at the moment just due to the fact that... Uh, there's a circuit, little mini circuit board in, in this point here that um, regulates the amps that come through. So, and it actually draws power while the um, while it's actually connected. So, over a period of a week or two without riding, it'll actually um, discharge a battery. So, that little sucker there I got from Super Cheap. So it's a weatherproof single slimline USB socket. I think it cost me about $12 or something. They were on clearance at, um, at Super Cheap. So, yeah, that's the, that's the setup. So it's pretty much waterproof when it rains. Um, it's all safe under there. So uh, what I use is, for my tracking, I use uh, GeoTracker and for so that's geo tracker so make sure that you've got your location set on so the gps signals um, working and basically this will track track your rides give you a start point finish point uh, you can check the statistics there it'll give you track length maximum speed average speed record duration, movement duration, elevation, altitude, um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Pretty much the start of your ride, you press record and just let it run. Uh, bear in mind it does chew the battery, that's why I run the uh, USB port and keep the phone charged. It does actually keep the phone at 100% for the whole ride, so it's not a bad little setup. So yeah, that's GeoTracker. That's free for Android. I'm not sure about Apple, but awesome little app for tracking rides in new areas. So then we have our little mate uh, Offline Maps Plus. Uh, when I purchased that, I think it was about $2.99. So what you can do with that is you can actually, the maps that you track through GeoTracker, you can actually um, transfer across onto here and it'll actually show you show you those um show you those maps on here and when you're actually tracking it it'll, it'll give you a little arrow pointing in the direction that you're facing uh the maps will generally um orientate when you turn they generally um yeah when you turn i can't it's hitting the table there but when you turn so um yeah that little fella there it's um it's pretty awesome and also this good little feature is from where you are 
you can actually drag the map and it'll give you the distance uh, it says the crow flies obviously but it'll give you the distance away so if you end up veering off a track or if you're trying to get somewhere you can actually find out exactly how far away it is as the crow flies it's a very handy tool when you're not 100 percent where you are but you know where you want to be so yeah that one is um offline maps plus there is um offline maps that is free but it is um doesn't allow you to upload other um upload gpx files to it so just bear in mind the offline maps if you're out of service and you haven't already pre-downloaded the maps as in gone in and opened them up uh, you may have problems viewing the actual map but if you do have a tracked ride on there you can see where the tracked ride is you won't be able to see the map but um, yeah so anyway that's just the basics on what I've got set up here works well gets me back to the car every time and yeah any questions just hit me up in the comments um, and I'll do my best to answer them for you so later yo people I uh, just wanted to give a shout out to Alan Palmer behind bars uh, Alan gave me the idea for the armband strap around the crash pad so thanks for that Alan and also a shout out to Josh Dennison from MVDBR Enduro uh, Josh was the one that put me on to the offline maps plus as the um, the tracker to follow previously tracked rides. So thanks boys, see you out on the trails.